Yeah. Why don't you kids learn how to LARP? That's so much fun. I tried, uh, but actual serious LARPers are a little too serious for me. I want to go play sword fights with no- Nerf swords, you know, <laughs> like there. You got to find, like, it's like everything else. I think you just have to find a good group of people. Like, I know a good group of people where I could just, like, hang out, maybe play some D&D afterwards, and then we go get donuts at, like, 4 a.m. Because why the hell not? It sounds funner. I don't want you to be too serious about it. Every time I try and get into something like that, like Dungeons and Dragons, like, those people are way too serious. Like, I wanted to do it for fun. That but. depends, too. Yeah, you got to find, like I said, you got to find the right people to, to do that with. Because you can't you can't have those hardcore nerds who are, like, screaming at Stan, and, like, Stan Lee because Mary Jane's going to be black. You got to get the nerds. <laughs> you gotta, you got to get the nerds who will go to a DC movie to laugh at it. Like, huh, Batman v Superman, this is going to suck. Let's all make fun of it in the theater. I mean, it's slightly douchey, but let's be real. It's fucking hilarious. See, that judginess, too. I, I, they all hate the movies because of this or because of that because of this can't we just sit there and enjoy it well let's be real (laughs) from that perspective it's like i'm not saying like you know that you should be like douchey but like we all knew batman v superman was not gonna be a good movie so you might as well have fun with it lex luther had hair (laughs) and was like 20 come on he was too yeah Yeah, he's supposed to be bald and in his 40s he was too young i think i i get why they gave him hair and stuff but he was too young I wanted him to be. There were so many people who could have played Lex Luthor. By the age of Superman and Batman at that point, because Superman versus Batman does not happen until The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Favorite (laughs) favorite Batman from like modern days, like right now, because, you know, I want. That's your favorite Batman? No, I'm just saying, which is your favorite? Which is your favorite? Oh, I like Batman after Death in the Family. No, I mean, which actor? No, actor, yeah. Oh, actor. (laughs) um, Wow. Not I'm right gonna go with Adam West. <laughs> no, I like serious Adam Batman. <laughs> All right, that was serious Batman back then. He's shark not. repellent, <laughs> shark repellent heaven. You know that was no fabulously oh. cartoon Batman. That was Jiminy Cricket's <laughs> Batman. Yeah, you see that? That's that's lovely cartoon Batman. <laughs> I gotta see the new it, cartoon it re- Batman yeah, with Adam West com- coming back. That, that oh. commercial was so. Oh my god. Holy dis- holy Toledo, Batman. How are we going to get out of this one? I don't know, Robin. <laughs> How was he able to do that? Adam West is a freaking god. Adam West's that? Batman has made more daring escapes than the act- <laughs> any other Batman. But then I think he's also been caught more than any other Batman. <laughs> True. That's the trade-off. It's like, in order to have these cool feats of awesomeness, you got to you know give up the gooch every once in a while. And just get caught. It's okay. At least his Batman didn't get his butt beat and exploded in a warehouse. Oh my god, yeah. In bad blood? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Robin Robin died like a child. (laughs) And then they they brought him back to life later in the comics because that's what they do. Well, he's a clone. That was the creepiest part. But re- <laughs> <laughs> Rebirth has started. Is he dead yet? Have you guys seen that? I haven't, I haven't got a chance to because I'm too busy still trying to keep up with female Thor and Captain oh Marvel. Because I am so in love with those characters right now. <laughs> um, I, I have to say this. My dad was watching Supergirl okay. on the NCW. I haven't yet to watch it. I, and I really should. I, I couldn't do it. I'm is, sorry. Is, it, is it not good? Do you, is it not your that, taste? The acting for me, it was just <laughs> so obviously just... I was just sitting there cringing like, wait, wait, wait. Is she playing the aggressive Supergirl, like kal cousin Supergirl, or direct uh, descendant kal Supergirl, where she's just all passive and like a child? Wait, are they trying to act like cartoon characters, do you think, is that way? It's no, when I was watching it, it was like, it, it, was, it was the episode where she found out something about her mom, and then... Um, she found out one of the people that's working with her was there when her mom died, right? Mm-hmm. And so because of this, she got all mad and stuff, but it's like... Spoiler when, alert. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But I mean, like, when you actually watch it, like, you can just see, you're kind of like, like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the kind of acting when you look at it, you, you're like, you're obviously trying hard. <laughs> it's kind of like that. But the, the type of uh, uh-huh. Supergirl, which was your question, I'm guessing the descendant because, like I said, th- they kept giving information about her mom specifically and everything and okay. how she was born and everything. Because, like, I'm used to there are two Supergirls that everyone's used to direct descendant, um, Supergirl, the one I think you're going off of who is like legitimately related to, um, 
to bat uh superman and, and you know they clone her to make wonder girl and, th and they're both like super aggressive people like right. they're just like fuck us and they just like blow crap up and she's very inexperienced i like i think i like that supergirl more than the the, uh, the reboot supergirl where she's not related to kal-el but she's just a kryptonian and she's like all passive and she's just like oh i'm the princess of the universe bitch look <laughs> at my power i don't like that version of supergirl so i'm hoping they are going that route but i like it I, the reason i was interested in supergirl because i was hoping it'd be the more aggressive supergirl that way we could have like a female character that isn't this freaking fairy on screen i kind of want her to punch dudes out because she feels like it not because she feels like you know i gotta save the earth no do it because it's fun that's what i'm used to seeing you do she hey hey look there's a, a bank robbery i'm yeah. on a date i'll be right back <laughs> they'll <laughs> never have like a the superman batman apocalypse uh, uh supergirl from what i was seeing her alter or her mm -hmm. i should say her persona because you know how mm -hmm. superman he worked at the daily bugle and everything yeah she hers was she was a nerd like she had the glasses and the ponytail. Oh, oh. How dare they? That she had the ponytail. <laughs> she had the weird. How clothes dare and you everything. use nerd penis to get people to watch but your show? But that's not Supergirl. It is not. She's an aggressive piece of work. She was trained by the Amazons and she everything. Was she the CIA was trained by the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> I Wonder Woman <laughs> took her and trained her. Donna Summers is <laughs> an amazing woman. Oh my! If I met Donna Summers, I'd probably just cry. There's nothing I can say to her. I know I'd never stand a chance with donna summers <laughs> i just feel like you are the perfect woman and i don't <laughs> i don't know how to date you <laughs> i don't know what to say you can kick my ass and there's like a truth bro what the fuck is that like i'd, cr I'd break down <laughs> and then she's just like no, please somebody <laughs> help me I think that's all of her dates, though. I think everyone has cried in front of her. Freaking Batman cried in front of her. Superman cried in front of her. How Jordan... Or how Jordan cries. Forget how Jordan... He's, he's <laughs> terrible, but... Like, the black Green Lantern cry. Donna Summers is just amazing. Anyway, but yeah, Supergirl, I'm... I kind of want to watch it to see how, they, how they're going. But if it's, like, if, they're, if it's, like, gaudy acting, it will kind of turn me off. And I hope sh they do catch up, because... Her storyline could be very interesting, and we can see characters that we haven't seen for a long time that are very popular, like Power Girl, come into play. Because yes, Power Girl is a clone of Super Girl, and I want to see Power Girl because Power Girl is no in every incarnation of Power Girl. Power Girl is to me is kind of a ripoff of Captain Marvel or Miss Marvel. She's just aggressive and uh, wants <laughs> she to is, punch things, but with like bigger boobs. Actually, <laughs> their bus just, size is pretty close to the same. Mm, you can for, see Power yeah, Girl. So. When, I was, when I was watching <laughs> Supergirl, I mean, it was really, for me personally, just the acting. that I was just like, mm. Ugh. Well, that can kill At a least lot of things for you. I need yeah. the good acting because I could get past bad story if it's fun to watch. Yeah. Because <laughs> like the first few episodes of The Flash were just like, Gah. but then after that, they kind of caught up. So I'm kind of expecting them to do that, especially on the CW. It's like. There's, CW always has a bunch of shows where there's like just terrible acting, but people love them. The 100 has terrible acting. My friend Valerie, <laughs> hi Valerie, she works on the 100. It is awful. Absolutely. And I love the CW. I'm a CW nerd. It's right. sad. I watch all those terrible shows and make fun of them. But I know I like a lot of the shows on the CW. Mm -hmm. Like I, at one point I submitted trailer mashups for the CW <laughs> lineup. And, like, they were like, you want to work for us? I was like, fuck yeah, I want to work for you. And then I got denied. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm a CW nerd. So I know how they work. They'll, like, they'll have great show ideas. Hire, they'll hire these, like, no-name actors, which I think is pretty cool. The, the you giving, take a giving gamble. people a chance. Yeah, you that, take a gamble when you do that so bad, though, because some the of those people, they're gaudy. not. Yeah, they're not done training. Well, they, they also need to, need to diversify their actors. No offense, but every time I see new CW actors, it, it kind of feels like they pulled them out of, like, the Phantom Degrad. So there you go. <laughs> Hold up. We need a we need a light skin. We take another light skin. There you go, motherfucker. One more <laughs> light skin. There you go. And a black guy. Like, damn it, CW. <laughs> <laughs> Diversify your bonds. But yeah, so I'm hoping they do catch up because the Flash definitely did. And they even got Kevin Smith to do one of their episodes. So good on them. Good I on. like Gotham. Ah, yeah. Gotham was That's so like Gotham. for me, I didn't really get into Gotham until I saw Penguin. <laughs> I like the penguin. I, I think yeah, me too. Like, for I, me, like, penguin is that show. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't quite click with me until I really sat down and I was like, penguin a thug. <laughs> He's <laughs> also creepily attractive. I looked at his face. And I'm like, you should be ugly, but you're not. 
<laughs> You're did, like Steve Buscemi he too. So get there because <laughs> yeah. uh, like I always do a picture it's of like penguin see it, heavy set like, weirdo and I'm like this is how he started. He was like this skinny weirdo <laughs> and then he, when he becomes richer <laughs> he becomes heavy set weirdo. <laughs> he's, he's like Steve Buscemi too. It's like he is Steve Buscemi. Buscemi. <laughs> it's amazing. I freaking love oh jesus but there's so many problems with that show so like everyone's so i'm so glad they were just like this is just an alternate timeline i'm like oh thank god i think the only <laughs> problem i have with it is fish mooney i don't i don't like her, that character i really don't why i don't she's too over overacting for me she's like a soap opera villain yeah she's from I telenovelas yeah. yeah i don't i don't like that character and I, I can't. I, I, I really do like how Jada Pika Smith does her roles, though. She's a badass. She's awesome. going badass with it, but like I was happy with Fish Mooney gone, and okay. then they brought her back, and then I was not happy anymore. <laughs> I was. So, this is a very minor thing, but I was very surprised on how um how well Zach looked. Oh, the mm-hmm. guy who cuts into himself every time he kills a person. Yeah. I'm like, holy crap, that guy <laughs> looks like you must get no other jobs. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> You look exactly like that one Batman villain. You must have a hard time getting regular jobs. You can't even work at McDonald's with that face. You are Batman villain number yeah. one. That's all you're ever going to be. Yeah, that's, uh, that's messed up. But I do want to see, like, interest. What sucks about this show is that, like, since Batman's not fighting crime, it's, like, Gordon. He can't really do the the bigger villains because they'll just shoot him in the face <laughs> yeah well they can't yet because some of those villains don't even pop up until batman existed but catwoman is just mystically there but no, no well catwoman grows up alongside batman no she it's doesn't something that they're doing in this universe and other ones she used to be like a whore and but then in like the cartoon i thought she was a thief yeah and the, well, no, she, she was started a, she a started thief. as a, a thief and then she was a whore and then another one she was like a whore first and then she became a thief oh, okay and then there's ones where she was actually a socialite and she was in the circles that bruce wayne was Mm. but at the same time she was a thief and she was always a like an activist for animal rights that was something she did too she would steal stuff from people who like wronged that's why she makes out poison ivy (laughs) we like i like animals i like plants a lot (laughs) and that's like their day i know i think the one thing that would really get me into it is when they incorporate the order of the owls Oh. Well, they they already brought them on last season. Like, okay, cool. I, that's yeah. how you know how caught up I am. The court court of owls. They they're interviewing them and they have the masks and they're all sitting on the sides. Wait, what? Creepy. They're interviewing the court of owls. The court of owls is telling the bad guys to do something. Like, oh, I was about to say hour. the whole point of the court of owls is no one. They're the Illuminati for Gotham. No, no one no. knows they're there. <laughs> they're not yeah. interviewing them. That. It's the other way around. The the court of owls is interviewing the people. They're, you get the owls you deserve. They're conducting them. Not the ones you need. I like the court of owls, but does that mean that eventually, if it lasted long enough up to Batman, it would be Damien Robin? No, because court of owls, they're immortals. So yeah. they keep going? Yeah, they they literally... Okay, so the court of owls, are, they found the Lazarus pit first. They got the purest yeah. form of the Lazarus pit. They so do they don't Lazarus need it anymore. They, they, they're, they, they can't die. So they're just hanging out being the illuminati <laughs> and, and um to, to be fair damien isn't damien's batman's son so we should never see damien yeah, ever. I, was, I was talking about eventually because damien is also an asshole damien and he like helps take down the court of owls i don't know if they're down forever but he takes no, them they're down <laughs> they're freaking immortals i think in one storyline i read batman seals them in a cave <laughs> and that was it he's like no, i can't kill you because damien in son of batman damien um oh the animated movie yeah he, he like was still got an a-hole in that movie he got talon to like yeah. kill him for yeah. him damien's always an asshole like he's starting like he got on my nerves at first but now he's starting to be my favorite robin because he's <laughs> such an asshole <laughs> but think- he but he is an asshole that loves batman like I don't like Dick, any of the Robins. Dick did not, uh, in some universes, he hated Batman right. for things that Batman did. But, like, Damien loves, that's his father. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like they'd, they'd all, like, if I was to take any of them out for a drink, I'd hate them. <laughs> Damien is an a-hole. Dick Grayson whines. It's just like, come on, guys. Tim is dead. So. Tim, <laughs> Tim, Tim's Drake undead ass smelling up the bar oh my God. bruh take yeah, a neutralization would... shower they exist 
<laughs> you shouldn't even be drinking. It's rotting the, the liver. What about the girl? I forgot her name. I the liked her. The red hair. Everyone was hating on her. Oh my god. Uh, I liked her. I was a like, lot. stop being a purist nerd. <laughs> she did more than any of the other Robins did. She figured out who Batman was. Yeah, Dick Grayson did it. But let's be real. He kind of just shot in the dark. Oh, you. <laughs> I'm guessing you're rich. You're Batman. No, she legitimately figured out who Batman was. I think I liked the girl because she was actually excited about being Robin. Exactly. Like she was yeah. happy being trained. She was a good listener. <laughs> I don't like the fact that because of fan, like the way the fans reacted, they killed her off. I found that very shitty. They kill off every time they give them the opportunity. They kill off Robins. Well, they definitely. don't like Robins. But definitely. But let's be real. They killed her off incredibly fast. Like the moment she came out, everyone's like, "We don't like the fact that Robin has a vagina." That was basically the argument that everyone had. So the, DC's like, "All right, we'll fucking murder her." <laughs> Like, they didn't even give her a full run of That's being... very immature. They yeah. try very, very hard. They didn't give her the Batman experience. I, I trust all, Batman. Batman I think betrays all me. The, co- all the comic fans, in gen- like, all the comic books try really hard to please their fans. And they they take turns. They take, like, backstrokes. Cause they try to go forward, but they can't go too forward because fans are bitches. Let's be <laughs> real. All of the good comics are the ones that did not listen to their fans. Like, uh, the Superman one where he's old and it comes out of retirement. I can never... Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come was like ridiculous to fans it was like <gasps> superman stopped saving the world <laughs> superman steps down this is bullshit he's superman but then like that gives us like one of the best stories of all time involving the justice league like holy shit so like i just i think you know mm. everybody needs to shut up it's either, <laughs> not even that Writers need to just kind of stand up for themselves and just write what they want. Because when they do, that's where we get our good storylines. When people were writing what they want, we got everything that was awesome. Spider-Man, X-Men. We got freaking even stuff even stuff on the side that is lesser known that's still good. Like the monolith, which is getting a movie. Mm-hmm. We got freaking visual comics, not really listening to the fans, giving us some of the best comics ever. Watchmen is still regarded Watchmen as... Watchmen is really good. Still regarded as like Did one of the yeah. best comics Watchmen of all time. Fucking, oh and they... God. What did they do? Not listen to anybody. This is back in the day where superheroes had to be colorful, freaking palettes of happiness and saving America. No, these guys were dark, fucked up, and, like, they were darker than Batman. Like, Batman stole their darkness from fucking Watchmen. Okay. To get it. And then they can't even keep it because fans complain about it. Because there are fans that are like, oh, this should have been more R-rated. But then there are other ones that are like, kids watch Batman. Like, and they, they shouldn't. They, yeah. they, they can have their versions of Adam West Batman. Sure. And then yeah, let yeah, us we'll have. Give it, give it to them. Yeah, let them have. Let the adults who love Batman 2 have their adult version of Batman, but they're trying too hard to please everybody and stay in the middle. Yeah, that's kind of shitty because I know, I remember this point in time I was reading comic books and the best, and it was awesome because Donna Summers stopped being Wonder Woman for a while. She just, she was just Donna Summers. You're saying it wrong because Wonder Woman's name is Diana. I just no, there was a whole point where she was called Donna Summers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It was a weird point in time in the <laughs> comics where she was just walking around in black leather with her lasso. Oh, I know her name is Diana. I know her future self does that too. Yeah, she, she does she the changes black her, leather thing. Yeah, she changes. That's her. She changes yeah. her name. That's what I was she reading. She was Donna, yeah. Yeah, she was Donna Summer. She just, she stopped being Wonder Woman for a while. And that was very interesting to see her like kind of interacting with the world not being Wonder Woman. Uh-huh. And then figure out she can't like not be Wonder Woman. <laughs> that was a really interesting point in time. And we got to see a different side of you know her because she wasn't being a hero it's a different perspective on yeah. character development exactly on, what, on how we see her yeah plus like this is why everyone likes black adam too because he's like he's actually a villain you can sympathize with <laughs> he's kind of like hades though he's kind of like the devil he's like ah oh, they killed my family so i'm gonna be evil forever <laughs> it's like stop being a baby <laughs> you can sympathize with a lot of villains when you put it that way if their families die <laughs> but he's like he's been alive for like thousands of years he should have got over this by now <laughs> Like, seriously, China, come on. Come on, stop your bitching. <laughs> like if your, whole, your whole family <laughs> died, whatever. If your, cat, <laughs> if your cat dead and you're still talking about this like 200 years later, <laughs> China, I think you need to get some modern help. So you need a therapist. Come on. Do you guys we, have a favorite? We all need to move on with our lives. Do you guys? This is like not in any of the topics I have, but it's going very well. But uh, who's your favorite comic villain? Do you have one? Villain? Uh. I know. <laughs> oh, my God, I know. Holy crap. <laughs> Because I go through current favorites and I am in the middle of going through the different variances of Harley and Joker's kind of relationship. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very curious to see why so many people like them. And I think it's because they could exist 
which oh, is why, why people like them. Why their relationship is attractive? Yeah, why? Well, it's because it's eccentric and very exciting for yeah, them. Yeah, and but they can be cra- like they're crazy. The whole thing is crazy. Like it's yeah, it's mental illness too. Like it's strongest. People Her, want the the excitement they know they can have in a regular relationship. Yeah. That's why. So I've in. been going through a lot of their their past and their kind of backstories for a while right now. Mm-hmm. And then I did I did go through a point with Dark Side too. Where I tried to go through all Dark of his. Side. <laughs> yeah, but all I want is the anti-life equation. <laughs> really? <laughs> then his talk like, about tunnel vision, bro. I feel like he's not very accomplished for such a big backstory that he yeah, has. Like right. I don't. I feel like he just stopped somewhere. He hit his peak. He was the football player in high school that didn't go any farther. Wow. Like I just. What's did. your What's your power? I can make lasers go anywhere. <laughs> really? That's it? Yeah. He just didn't he didn't keep progressing for me. The way they make him seem, he should have won by now. Yeah, definitely. He should have killed everybody. He should have been And then Lex eventually gives him the anti life equation. And then they both die. I was like, wait, what? (laughs) Then I've also been looking again into the crime syndicate. You know, the alternate version of the Justice League? Yeah. Which one? There's like fifty eight planets. The one with Owl Man and Super and Superwoman and Ultraman. I, I saw the one him. where Superman was black, and I was like, wow, this is, <laughs> this no, is not what I wanted. Ultraman is like Brooklyn, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like he has a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> Straight to <come. laughs> All right, cool. But then I've been looking at that one because uh, Owlman's nihilism is like, he wants to get rid of all the planets. He wants to destroy every planet ever because he's like, it doesn't matter. He might, <laughs> well, <laughs> like, then he might as well make out with Doom Day, Doomsday, I think, 57 is Ultra <laughs> Doomsday. He's going around just like, hey, this is a nice world. Boom. And like, <laughs> he like destroys like four planets. You're just like, whoa. See, I like those villains that just, they fuck around for nothing. They have no reason to do it. They're gaining nothing. They're just doing it. You like, must love Muda. There's no way to stop them. <laughs> Mental organism designed only for killing. That must be your favorite. <laughs> well, then, if they're... He's designed for killing. He wants to keep killing. Like, if you're a human that wants to continually destroy all the Earths in all the universes, why? What are you going to gain from that? We, as people, need to gain from something. We could say it all we want. We don't need to gain. I, I don't need anything out of this. But we need to in some way or form. Whether it's like, I need to be a good person. You're gaining being good, being a good person. Murdoch just likes killing. <laughs> I think that's his thing. I mean. If he's designed for it, then he's designed for it. People that aren't designed for killing who still kill. I wonder. I, mean, like, I would say he gets off on it, but I don't think he has a penis. <laughs> what do you th- what's your favorite villain, Hugo? I'd be a villain if I didn't have genitals. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be... A- uh, not a villain if you didn't have <laughs> genitals. You wouldn't have anything telling you to do anything. I want to be Varys from uh, what is it? Yeah, Game of Thrones. <laughs> he doesn't have genitals. Varys? He just knows everybody's secrets. Oh my god, that <laughs> guy is freaking amazing. He's like secret TMZ. He stalks everybody. He knows <laughs> everybody's TMZ business. TMZ without the TV. Like, yeah. It's <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so who's your favorite villain, Hugo? Uh, Magneto. Really? Yeah. <laughs> how did how bad did you feel in the last movie? What? Uh, the last men, I think it's called. No, X Men. X Apocalypse. Um, yeah. Oh, Apocalypse. Um, I feel like he was. Uh, it was a good movie. I just feel like he was underused. I feel like the way they killed his family off was bullshit. We <laughs> all know it was bullshit. He needed a reason to join the freaking. I know, but they could have found a better one. <laughs> you know they weren't. And uh, second off, he wasn't even a part of the Apocalypse <laughs> Horseman. Yeah. I mean. I didn't see Apocalypse. They chose the okay. stupidest. Well, like, I feel like it was a reboot that was bad because Phoenix shows up when she's not supposed to. I Spoilers. Think, yeah, I liked that they casted her as Phoenix. I was excited about that. But then Phoenix was not old enough to be there yet. Yeah, Phoenix shows up when like Jean Grey is in her forties. Mm. By the way, why do you like Magneto? <laughs> well, he's actually very relatable. We all know that. Pretty much when he first found his powers and stuff, he was a good He's guy. He's Malcolm X. <laughs> no, I do think he is one of the villains that yeah, he's actually, so understandable. Yeah, like you can sit down with a guy and he'll be rational. It's not like, you know, everybody else where they would just sit there and just be like, because I said so and I have the power. <laughs> yeah, I he said plays. so, I have the power, now you're going to do it. He's, no, he's, he's going to he sit just down. He has a point. Whenever, yeah. he, whenever people question his point about how they're going to treat the mutants differently all he has to do is do you see this tattoo i have on my arm do you know where that's from do you know why it happened because it could happen again to the mutants like that's that's all he needs to do 
I would love to have seen Magneto go civil war between <laughs> Captain America and Broker. He's like, this is bullshit. And he like flies over. You're both idiots. <laughs> and like destroys the entire Avengers. He's like, look, this is what's going to happen. He just like crushes. This. <laughs> I, can, I can see him doing that. <laughs> civil War disappointed me. Okay. I have all those Civil War comics in it. I told, I said it when right before it came out. If Captain America doesn't die, I'm gonna be pissed off. Okay. <laughs> How are they gonna do Phase Three if uh, if Captain's dead? Uh, but why did they do Civil War? Because they didn't people need to. wanted to see it. They didn't need to if they weren't gonna stay true to the whole thing. We all knew <laughs> we, we weren't gonna get the Civil War we read in the comic books. It was just they a, didn't do a proper lead up. So upsetting to me. We should have saw Spider Man at least a year ago for that to be decent. Yeah. And then he has to reveal himself and everything. Plus, that movie would cost billions of dollars instead of like eight people, fi- <laughs> sixteen people fighting. It's hundreds. Yeah, you mm-hmm. just you just reminded me of something. What did you think of Spider Man being a kid instead of an adult? I liked it. I liked it, but not for Civil War. I liked it a lot. It I made sense. It. I'm tired of people like going Spider Man. Well, first off, let me just be fair. I don't like Spider Man. I think he's an asshole, but I'm still gonna be <laughs> rational. I liked him being a kid because that was his whole thing. He in in all of the stories throughout Marvel, he was one of the youngest, and he was giving a very fresh perspective on being a, a hero. This shit's horrifying. <laughs> That's it. So I did like that, and his coping mechanism just got on my nerves. Shut up, Spider Man. <laughs> After the fifth comic, you're kind of just not funny. You kind of deserve to get hit in the face. Like, dude, right. shut up and do your job. I think Spider Man is a good villain, a good hero yeah. for kids. The yeah, he's kids a, he's a great hero. Love Spider Man. Like little kids, out of all the ones they love the most is Spider Man. When when you're younger, Spider Man because he's the most relatable. Yeah, he's the one you can go. I don't think. Like he he gets really dark as you get older too. All his girlfriends die, like all of them. Yeah. <laughs> but then like he's not cool until he's like two hundred years old in the he, Dimension series. He starts. He always does start out very young. That's what made him such a good hero, though, was that he started at comic book readers level, mm-hmm. and then he grew up with them. I do like Black Spider Man just a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, because in the movie. Um, that was probably the youngest Spider-Man we've ever seen on yep. actual screen film. Not well, like yeah, well, the, there's a cartoon where he's like in no, yeah, like I said, middle on, school on actual, on actual like screen film stuff. Yeah, I I think that he's he's awesome. The, the only problem I have with the Spider-Man series is just it, well, most comic book series in general is how much the the main character will take on, and then they won't address like the the sociological and psychological problems with taking on such stress and. Uh, you know about um being a hero it's like it's my fault all those people die well i actually hate with power comes responsibility that makes absolutely no sense social and you know it doesn't make any sense if a guy gets shot in ohio (laughs) but i can ride the speed of light and he dies how is that my fault I didn't even know You're the guy. You're just gonna think of it as your yeah, fault. Exactly. That's what I find the only bullshit thing in superhero movies were like, I have all these powers, so I have to save all these people. No, you don't. But they you been, can just fly off trying, into space and bang aliens. They've been trying to go into deeper territories. Like I think I just thought of that, um Oh my god, what's her name? Jessica Jones? A whole thing and how her hero career went like that i'm kind of disappointed they didn't start with her hero career and how it failed and why she became jessica jones afterwards because that's dealing with it yeah. that's she had power and she was using it and then got taken advantage of and like became a slave for somebody who had more power than she did only to realize that she wasn't needed as a hero like nobody cared that she was gone for so long yeah so then she became jessica jones detective she doesn't use her powers anymore and that's but that's something like people they're not gonna make a movie out of it for some reason they're not gonna put it high up there they're just gonna do their little show on it that shit was dark <laughs> luke cage put it in my butt he's like really why just <laughs> just put it in there that was in the comic <laughs> twice they won't do those scarier ones luke cage is gonna be dope because they also address something that's very important to me where it's like you know, villains are, if you have real villains, they're going to be villains. And one of the lines in the trailer that makes me want to see is like, Luke Cage, you made me bulletproof, but Brooklyn, I was like, God 
damn, I'm gonna watch this. Yes, <laughs> yes, real consequences. Niggas about to get shot. Like that's that's what made me really into like really love it because the city itself in in, in this show is gonna seem like it has a personality. Metropolis eh, does not have a personality. It's like mm-hmm. white people everywhere. Oh, <laughs> shit blows up. Gotham doesn't even have a personality. White people everywhere. So it's crime. Like okay, cool. That sounds like Compton. White people up yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> but like they're they're gonna. I feel like they're gonna give Brooklyn life in this because the people. Uh, outside of, you know, Luke Cage's field of vision will be affected by everything that he does. Like a really good video.